Hey guys, it's Sam, and in this video, I am very, very excited to be showing you guys for the first time ever how to jailbreak iOS 7 untethered using a jailbreak tool called Evasion. Now, before we be in the process, like everything else that we do with jailbreaking, there are a couple things that we need to do. First of all, if you've ever updated your device through the settings app, you must do a full restore on iTunes. So that means if you went to settings, general, and then software update, you will have to go to iTunes and do a complete restore before you be in this process because if you updated over the air and never did a full restore on iTunes, it can cause some problems with the jailbreak. Now, like I said with the restore, you should automatically back up when you do this, but if you don't automatically back up, make sure you back up your device to your computer or via iCloud. Now, if you've done both of those things, if you've updated in iTunes every time there's been a new iOS update, I didn't, so I had to do those two steps that I told you guys before. I've redone those steps so that now my device is perfectly ready to be jailbroken on iOS 7, finally. So now that we've covered those things, let's go ahead and get started. Let's jailbreak our iOS device. Now just a heads up before I do begin the tutorial, I am using a Mac, but you can follow just about the same steps on PC if you're going to jailbreak it on your PC. But once again, there's links on the Evaders website, evasion.com, that I'll show you guys in a second to both Mac and PC tools. So now that we've done this, Go ahead and open up your internet, internet browser like Internet Explorer or Google Chrome. For me, it's Safari since once again, I am on a Mac. Go ahead up to the search bar and type in evasion.com. That is evasion with a zero, not an O. Once you're there, just scroll down and you can see you've got two links, one for Mac and one for Windows. Once again, I am on a Mac, so I'm going to click Mac. But if you're on a Windows, click that Windows download. Now, the download of this package isn't very big. It's just an invasion tool, so it's about 30 megabytes, if I'm not mistaken. It won't take very long. It took about 20 seconds for me on my internet, but it can differ based on your varied internet speeds in your home. Now, once we've covered that, go ahead and double click on the downloads, and you can see throughout this process of me trying to open it up, I may receive an error saying this is not from a verified developer through Apple. Well, that's because it's a jailbreak tool. Of course, it's not going to be verified through Apple, but here's how you get around that. Go ahead and click OK saying you recognize that it's not a recognized developer. Right click on the package and then click open on the right clicked menu. When you do that it will say you have an option for OK I want to open this anyway even though it's not through a recognized developer. You can see when I click that it lets me open up the tool and I can now jailbreak my iOS device on Evasion. Now one more thing I want to mention before I hit that jailbreak button. If you have a passcode lock set up on your device that means if you're using Touch ID you have a passcode there. Or if you just have a passcode in general on your device, you want to go into settings, general, and then passcode lock and make sure you disable that passcode before you hit that jailbreak button because it can cause some issues when the actual jailbreak is trying to be put on your device. So once again, just disable your passcode and then go ahead. This is the time we've all been waiting for since iOS 7 was announced in the June. Click that jailbreak button and the process has started. So now that the process is started, you can see on your computer screen, it will say various things that it's injecting into your device, or step one jailbreak, all that good stuff. So I'm just going to fast forward a bit so you guys don't have to watch through this slightly painstaking process. So as you can see here, I did speed it up in the middle of this jailbreak process. You can see it will say, okay, now go ahead and go on your device, unlock it, scroll to the second page or wherever you have room on your device for this new icon and go ahead and tap it. You can see it will say Evasion 7. It will give you the open icon animation like in all apps for iOS 7, and then your device will immediately respring, reboot, and keep on with the jailbreak process. Now, as you can see, I'm just sitting here and I'm not even touching my device after this point. It told me I had to unlock my device, but I actually didn't. It just continued with the jailbreak like normal. And then you can see it says the jailbreak is complete. Click OK on your computer. So now I'm going to go back full screen to my device because we're completely done with our computer. You can go ahead and shut it like I did and then go ahead and just continue using your device on the jailbreak. But there's a couple more things we need to do before this jailbreak is entirely complete. Once you're on your device, go ahead and unlock it. It is safe to unplug it from your computer now. Unlock it. Go ahead and scroll over to Cydia and it will say when you launch Cydia preparing file system. Now this is because Cydia has tons and tons of files to process for your device and depending on your device speed as far as I know it will take from about a minute to two, three, maybe even four minutes because this is a massive file system that your device is being prepared for. Once you've done that your device will respring, go ahead and unlock, scroll over to that page where Cydia is located. Yes, you have just launched Cydia on your iOS 7 device. Guys, I have never been so excited for a jailbreak in my entire life. There's going to be tons of coverage on my channel showing you guys a multitude of jailbreak tweaks and stuff throughout the day. I cannot wait to see what's new on Cydia. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope you did find it useful. If you did, make sure you do hit that like button because it does help me out tremendously. And if you are interested in anything basically city or iOS related, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be covering tons and tons of stuff throughout the next year on my channel relating to Cydia, jailbreaks, iOS, all that stuff that you guys are interested in. So once again, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in one of my future videos.